Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating Affinity right here on your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left-hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Just tap on your Apple logo. You're going to see your set, well, your third option right here where it says App Store. Now remember, a lot of apps will be from your App Store. And then when it comes down to system updates, that would be under System Preferences. But right now, we're going to go right into our App Store. Here in our App Store, we should see this, all the apps that need an update. Just in case, if you don't see an app that you think needs an update, just search it up. So you're going to go up here and let's say we know that there's an update for Affinity uh, Publisher, for example, and we don't see it here. It's okay. We can just search for it. Once we find it, we should see that it says update on the top right hand corner of the screen. And just in case this didn't work, it is our last option where it says updates. So that's on the left hand side. You will see updates. So if we click on it again, it should be popping up here. However, that's another quick way to do that. So we're just going to hit on update. We can always view more and see exactly what this is. So it is almost a gig. So it's almost 800 megabytes. And we do have another update here where we can actually take a look at it. It's only 115. That's okay. We can update both actually at this point in time. Obviously, you only download one at a time if you want it to go a lot faster. It does depend on your internet speed. For some of you, downloading a gig will take a couple of seconds. Others, it could take hours. So again, it does depend on your internet speed. If you do want this to go a lot faster, sure, you could hook up your Mac into your router using an Ethernet cable, and that way it's going to go a lot faster. Usually, for most of you, that will be a lot faster than using your Wi-Fi network. Now, if you're right beside your Wi-Fi network, then it might be almost the same thing, using an Ethernet cable or just straight up Wi-Fi. So as long as we see this moving, that means it's actually updating. So see this circle? It's moving on its way slowly, slowly it's going. That means it's actually doing its job, so we can just wait for it to happen. Obviously, before doing any updates, I would suggest to finish up any projects that you have. It doesn't matter if it's Affinity Photo, Affinity Publisher, or Affinity Designer. It's the same thing. Just make sure you're done with whatever projects are inside there. You don't want any errors to happen when you're doing this. That being said, I did test it out right here on the new Mac OS, and it's working fine. So it's a good thing that they actually optimized it for the new Mac OS, but it does work. It does work just fine. I already tested that out. Once the apps have fully updated, we just move down here where it says updated recently. So you guys saw as I updated OneDrive, that did move down here since it was done. Now Affinity Publisher is just about to be done. And as soon as it does, it's just going to pop down here. So there we go. It did that exactly. So right now all we have to see is updated recently. We can go ahead and open it up. And as we open it up, you might see this. Now, that's only for some of you. I haven't registered it yet. I'm not going to until later on. So that's why I keep getting this pop up. And I'm just going to go ahead and remind me later. And that would be it. Right now, we can see this. We can just close it up and get started. And here we go. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.